<laughs> Buddy think he big. <laughs> Yo. What's up? What'd you say? I ain't say nothing, bro. What'd you say? I said you look like you think you big. That's what I said. Hey, man, you don't even know what I got in this bag and you walking up on me like that. You that hot over that comment? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Bruv, the guy's just minding his own business and you got to say some cocky little comment for the camera. Then when he approaches you, you insinuate that you're carrying a strap because you're scared. I like the way he just looked at you and shook his head and thought, you know what, this guy ain't worth it. I'll be the bigger man in more ways than one. There it is. That's a fucking mistake. He don't know it All yet. Right, I'm gonna beat his fucking. This Bruv, it's good when parents are passionate and support their kids, but don't start making a fucking fool of yourself and start pushing the other team's kids and shit. It ain't even about the kids at that point, it's just about you looking like a prick. And I ain't being funny, if someone pushed my teenage kid, they're definitely getting slapped, getting that fucking Will Smith treatment. <laughs> Obviously I want to but I can't show you the whole clip because I'll probably get in trouble for it. But you can imagine how that ended. And yes, that is why weight classes exist. Actually, just in case you can't imagine how it ended, the big boy was actually proper good to him. He just gets on top of him and he stops him from throwing any hands. So he just pins him down like a child more or less. <laughs> Wait, you smash that shit on me I like that, man. I didn't see you, bro. You little. You act like I see you. You want to take this outside, man? Why you smash that shit on me you like that, man? I see your ass, boy. Who the fuck you call, boy, man? You, boy. You really want to do here, man? Okay, then leave me alone. Is that how you want to play? You think this funny? Who's laughing? I ain't fucking laughing. I'm not laughing at. You too little, boy. You better go. You better go. Go on. Tell you I ain't see you. You smack that shit like that on me, you don't see me? Bro, you can't go around doing pranks like that, pissing people off and expect them not to get angry and then you get angry at them as well. Like someone's got pissed off about it, tell them there's a camera and apologise and if you're still pissed off then walk away. You can't start getting angry and squaring up when you've obviously f***ing tried to piss them off. Shit was still funny though, I ain't gonna lie. Good, aren't you? Get out of the truck! <laughs> get out of the truck, little lady! Nah, I'm good. See, cause you know you lose. How do I lose? Because I will beat your f***ing f***ing into the ground all day long. Oh, pause. That's kind of gay, isn't it? I will beat your dick. <laughs> Dude, hop out. Pause, bruv, pause. He made himself laugh, bruv. After you started laughing like that, you can't act like you're tough. Please tell me them two had a beer after that and just squashed it, because, man, you weren't even angry. You was just pretending to be angry. Break your jaw right now, you fat fucking You want a kiss? <laughs> no, I'll fucking break your jaw, dude. You want a kiss? Yeah, I don't think he knows whether he wants to fight or kiss you, bro. But usually when people get that close and they're still talking, it's because they don't want to fight. And they love to say that one as well. I'll break your jaw. I'll break your jaw. I'll snap your jaw. Have you ever actually broken a jaw? Look at this Muppet. He said he'd break this guy's jaw. Look how it turned out. Is he right to film the I'll snap your fucking jaw, No, you won't. Over, so just go out She's all bark, no bite, but I can tell she's pissed out of her head. Man, if your girl can't control her drink like this, then there's only one place she belongs. She belongs to the streets.